Hey there everybody, this is Wild Goat here from Adventures of Wild Goat and I am going to show you how to set up snapshots on Java. I'm in the Minecraft launcher here where there's obviously a lot of options. You have uh, Java, Windows, Dungeons, Legends, and the Minecraft Live tab over here on the side. Not only do you have each of the additions, you also are going to have patch notes, you're going to have news and information, and you can select which news or information you would like to have showing up in the launcher. You can even search for things, which I think is fantastic. Everything you need to know about Minecraft is right here in the launcher. Now, the main thing you want to pay attention to is what version you currently have open over here on the side. I already have a snapshot built, but I'm going to show you how to do one. And so you're going to go to this installation section right here. You can have releases, snapshots, or modded. So if you click on that, you're gonna actually be able to see the snapshots. And then here is your modded ones as well. I don't really have anything modded right now, so I don't need that open. I'm going to do a new installation though, because I want to set up a brand new one. I love that you can choose from a variety of pictures. I'm gonna do something fancy. Yes, let's do that one. And I'm gonna call this a snapshot. And this is de technically 1.20, but it is 1.19.3 at this point in time because it's a snapshot. It's features being added on now, not necessarily releases of snapshots. They're calling it features. And here you're going to want to go to either the latest snapshot which can change. If you have it selected as the latest latest release, latest snapshot, anytime that that changes, it will adjust over. I would recommend going directly to the version that you would like to have because if those changes, especially now with the way that they have the features loading, it might remove the ability to be able to use the snapshot. So I'm gonna go for the snapshot, latest and greatest that we got going on there. Um, some of you can adjust your resolution and then there's more options down there for RAM. That's all that I want to do at this point in time. So now I've got my brand new snapshot zone right down here. I'm gonna go back over here to this menu, scroll down to find it, click on it, and that is the one that I'm going to play. All right, so now that it's done, it's loaded, we're in Minecraft Java. 22W43A for this snapshot. This should work for future snapshots as well. It would just be a different number down there in the bottom left hand corner. Make sure that's loaded correctly. Now you're gonna set up a single player world. And again, I already have a single player world set up with this version, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna say create new world and you come to this standard create new world page that you see here and you can title it whatever you want. I would recommend you title it something without spaces and something that's easy to remember for later. I'm going to call mine Snapshot Fun. I do want it in survival. Um, normal difficulty is fine. I am gonna turn cheats on because obviously in the moments when you're doing snapshots, you're going to find some additional fun things to go ahead and use. And you'll want to be able to go into creative to get to those. Um, we'll cover world options here in a moment, but most importantly at this point in time, data packs. This is how you turn on the experimental features that are being released for the snapshots. If you don't do this step right here of moving these over, done, and clicking proceed, you will not have the snapshot fe features available for you to use. You have to click on those data packs in order to get them to work. More world options. I always like the bonus chest, I don't know why. And I do like to look up seeds so that I can go and find certain locations. Obviously in this case, I want to make sure that I'm in a desert because camels, right? Camels. All right, it's gonna give you this warning right here when you say create new world where it says experimental features. Obviously you want to proceed. This is a brand new world. You cannot add the data packs to previously created worlds anymore. So you can't take your previous worlds into a snapshot. That just doesn't work. But you can make a new world. And there you have it. I am in a mesa. There's a bonus chest over here. It is beautiful. Oh, look at the bunnies. But mainly, what do we want to find? We want to check out camels and bundles. Hi, buddy. How you doing? He's so happy. He is so stinking cute. <laughs> that is how you set up snapshots. Don't forget to, is that a chest back there? There's a mine shaft back there and there's a chest just sitting out. That's awesome. Completely distracted there, no problem whatsoever. I love the way they move. Your ears, they're so cute. Don't, don't leave, come back. 
Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you have enjoyed this content, please hit a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video or live stream. Goodbye, everybody. Hugs for all, especially for you, little man, especially for you. Hugs for the camels.